assalamu alaikum ga fasar labaran duniya daga nan gidan television na captain hausa daga nan bambirin tarayya abuja farko muhimman kanunsu gwamnatin najeriya ta sanar da cewar ta kammala dukkanin wani shirye-shirye domin kayyade farashin kayan abinci a kasar nan sojin saman Najeriya dai ta halaka manyan komandodin kungiyar yan ta'addan ISWAP yayin da dakarun sojin sama suka musu lugudin wuta a jihar Borno Bankin bada alamu ni na IMF ya shawarci babban bankin Najeriya wato CBN da ya kara kudin ruwa domin a sai sita ta tallin arzikin kasar nan ka ta gabatar da kudiri gaban kwamitin sulhu na mulsin dinkin duniya wadda ya bukaci a tsage ta wuta na wucin gadi a Gaza Jama'a assalamu alaikum barka mu da wannan yammaci tare da fatan mun wuni cikin koshin lafiya ga cikakkun labaran tare da ni Abdul Fatah Hassan da Zankaranto Najeriya ta kammala dukkanin wani shirye-shirye kayyade farashin kayan abinci. Gwamnatin Najeriya ta sanar da cewa ta kammala dukkanin wani shirye-shirye domin kayyade farashin kayan abinci a kasar nan. Ministan noma da tsaron abinci Abubakar Kyari shine ya bayyana hakan a babban birnin tarayya Abuja. Kyari yayi kuma yi karin haske kan ayyukan gwamnatin kasar nan domin rage tsadar abinci a Najeriya. Minisan ya ce gwamnatin tarayya dai ta fara noman alkama. Kyari ya bayyana cewa an yi wa manoma rijisa saboda noman rani ta shirin bunkasa noman kasa wato NAGS da kuma AP. Cewa an nome fili mai girman hekta 120 na alkama a jihar Jigawa karkashirin shirin na bankin wato AFDP. Ya ce za a noma sama da hekta 150 a karkashin shirin shinkafa da masara inda za a kara wato Mano mako san dubu dari uku ya yenda kungyo ima suza mwaka suna dunia da subada kuda de do mingwa to rege farashin. Minisa nyabayina che waza ajero kayang abinchi na kasa shangwa jia akang iya kwa king kasa do minda katada ba king haure. Inde jada da che wapitada abinchi ya na ampana na Nigeria amayana da ila idangomneti bata ampana adeshiba. Arroy to de che wa kari ya bay na che wa maya kata tayi umur nim raba wa to tan dubu arba indebyu na kaya ng hasi ga masu kara min karpi. Dorregi masalang ha hon parashang abinci da karan chinsa a kasar. Parashang abinci de ya taishi ya enda aike pama da sa darra yuwa a che war minisang. Za kuma adede ta aike noma do min kara ya wang abinci da aike noma wa. Sanan za aregi asara da aike samu bayan giribi. Chigaban na zuwa ni a dede loka chinda parashin kaya da na ayu ka sike itashin goron za bi a pa din kasan nang. Saka makons adarra yuwa da aike chiki. Hukumar gidi diga deta na jeri awa to MBS. Tabay na che wa ha hon parashin kaya a kasan nang ya kai kashi a shirinda tara da diko cha sa ing. Chikin dari a watan jenerun she karo dubu biuda a shirinda hudu. MBS ta kuma kara da cewa hahon farashin kayan abinci dai ya shafe sama da kashi 30 cikin 100 na alkaluman wato hahon farashin kaya Wata gobara ta kone babban dakin aje magunguna na jihar Gombe inda magunguna na biliyoyin nerori suka salwanta wakilin mu na Gombe Muhammad Ibrahim Pantami na dauke da karin bayani har ka yanzu lokacin hada wannan rahoto dai ba a samu sababin faru wannan gobara ba sai dai an fi alakanta ta da matsalar wutar lantarki ce ta ja wannan gobara wannan daki aje na magungunan dai a jar gombe kwanan nan gwamnatin jar gombe ta ma kare shi da magunguna yangantattu domin a samu da wadatattu magunguna ga al'umma jihar ta gombe da kuma bunga su tsarin kiwon lafiya jami'in kace gobara yan kwana kwana ga kada suke da yake akan wannan gobara sannan kuma idan abin da ya tashi zuwa baya ba da excuse so karfe 3:18 na receiving call a kan hukumta a medical center su kuma na umarci mutane na da su zo su tagari abun a zuwan su kuma already su zo sun samu abun ya kona kusan 75% da yake 
So sun yi ya kokarin su suka karebe shafi sauran murare ba. Dr. Abuwa da yi rudan masanin da ba commissioner lafiya na jihar Gombe ya ce wannan gobara ta yi matukar barna lokacin da yake jawabi ga wani malabaru kan wannan gobara ga abin da ya kara da cewa to hutan nan lalle ya yi barna kwarai da gaske ba kawai ma kaya mu da gita shi gini ma kansa an ka duba ta gabarcen ya fadi katangar ta fadi gaba daya a cikin sa kuma muna da manyan dakuna guda biyu wanda ake wato dakuna masu na uran sanyi da ake ajiye a kayan riga kafi a bayan kayan riga kafi da muke da su wato vaccines wato su ainan sinadare da muke bawa yara na musamman akwai sinadare daban-daban kamar na tarin huka kamar na ciwon a sankarau da sauran su shi ma Alhaji Muhammadu Inuwa ya gwamnatin jihar Gombe ya kai ziyara gare da ido inda wannan abu ya faru inda azan tashi da mune ma labaru yana na tahimmatar gwamnatin shi na tabbatar da farfado da wannan wuri don a ci gaba da muhuriyar sa gwari da ake da bunka su kiwon lafiya a jihar ta Gombe tun lokacin da ake arewa maso gabas nan shine cibiyar fatattara ta kayan magunguna na jihar arewa maso gabas kuma har yanzu gashi nan muna fama akai kaga inda ake aiki sababbi abin da ya faru ya riga da ya faru amma duk da haka mun umurci mutanen kwana kwana na wuta zo su tabbatar sun gane dalili da ne mu kiyaye hafta ko sa gaba kuma ganin an rasa riga kafi alloroyi na riga kafi musamman na na shan inna da kuma na meningitis da sauran wasu tattaki wadanda suka addabe mu musamma in lokacin kamar yanzu lokacin zafi ya shigo so in Allah da za mu ga cewa mun hada karfi da karfi tare da sauran mu'aikatu da kuma kungiyoyi na duniya don mu samu mu dawo da abun da aka rasa Muhammad Ibrahim Fantami labaron kaftan TV Hausa da Gombe Rundunar sojin saman Najeriya ta hallaka manyan komandojin kungiyar yan taddan Iswab guda uku a yayin da dakarun sojoji suka yi musu lugudin wuta a jihar Borno Zaga Zola wato makama masani kuma wato mai shari kan ayyukan yan tadda wato na mustada kayar baya a yankin tafkin Chadi shine bayan hakan a shafin sa na Mahajar X wato Twitter ya kara da cewa lugudin wutan jirgin sojojin saman da ya kuma halaka karin wasu yan taddan guda 22 ya kuma makama yayi bayanin cewa sojoji sun samu wannan nasara ne a samamin da suka kai kan yan taddan a kauyen wato Arina Woje a karamar hukumar Marte a jihar ta Borno wata majiya ta shaidawa makama cewa dakarun sojin saman na rundunar operation hadin kai ne suka yi ruwan bamabamman a mafakar na yan ta'addan majiyar ta kara da cewa sunan komandoji ukun da sojoji suka kashe da suka hada da abaca ba kura da kuma baban gida dan asalin yankin wato Jibularma a jihar da ta Borno Bayanin da sun nini da cewa an kwaso garokin yan taddan kuma an binne su ranar litinin inda wasu mambobin Iswab din suka halarci wurin Jana'izar wadda suka halarci wurin Birne sun sun hadar da Amirul wato fiye da Abu Hamza da kuma Khalid na wato Tumboma da kuma Abu Nazir da Abu Rijal da Khalid na Kolaram da da sauran su haka kuma dakarun operation hadin kai dai sun kashe mayakan Iswab guda 11 tare da lalata sansanonin 25 na yan ta'adda a dajin Sambisa da kuma Timbuktu Triangle na Borno Kungiyar hadakan malamai ta ma'aikatan jami'ar Jihar Yobe sun tallafa wa wasu dalibai mata da iftilayin gobara ta kona musu dakunan kwanan su kurmus a jami'ar Jihar ta Yobe da takaddun rubutu da kuma abubuwar rubutu daban-daban wakilin mu na Jihar Yobe a dogashuwa na da cigaban labarin ganin yadda iftilayin gobara yayi wa wasu daga cikin dalibai mata na jami'ar Jihar Yobe barna a dakunan kwanan su Kungiyar umma da hadakan malamai da ma'aikatan jami'ar Jihar Yobe sun baiwa daliban tallafi na takardu na rubutu da kuma abin rubutu don rage musu ragadin iftilaen wannan gobarar Ibrahim Liman da ke zama mataimakin magatakaddar kungiyar umma yace sun yi hakan ne domin tallafawa daliban da abubuwar rubutu ki ta kuma wannan kungiya ta Yobe University Umma Foundation wanda taro ne na duk ma'aikata da suke aiki a wannan jami'an wanda kowa yana ba da gudumawa wani kaso na albashin sa 
to a cikin kaso na wannan albashin nan da aka yi pooling wannan resources din sai na aka yi tunanin aka sayi long wannan exercise book din mai dan sayi din nan sannan kuma exercise books an sayi wannan guda 200 aka sayi exercise book guda 400 aka sayi bayro kwaya 200 domin daga bincike da muka gudanar daga hostel din daga wanda take wakiltan a hostel din ta ci akwai dalibai sun kai 200 a cikin wannan wajen to wannan gudunmuwa ne na ma'aikatan jami'ar Yobe dai daga cikin dalibai mata da gobara ta shafa ta yi wa kungiyar umma godiya dan gaje da wannan tallafi da suka ba su wannan abu ya faru da ni kuma mun gode a kungiya ta yobe university kuma foundation da ta kama da dauke ta kaddu mun gode sosai muna murna Allah ya saka da alkhairi anasa bangaren dr san isa dai daga cikin yan committee kula da tallafa wadannan dalibai mata yayi karin gaske yadda hukumar daukin gaugawa ta zo ta nan take dare da kuma goyen bayan gwamnatin jiha sun kawo mana abinci akwai bread akwai saidi akwai spaghetti akwai indomi akwai katifu akwai gidan sauro da dai sauran su Professor Muhammad Mala Daura shugaban jami'ar Jahar Yobe yace suna ci gaba da kulawa da wadannan dalibai da gobara ta musu barna dan haka yayi godiya ga kungiyar umma malamai da ma'aikatan jami'ar Jahar Yobe bisa wannan tallafi na takaddu da littafai da suka bai wa daliban Alhamdulillah gwamnati Yobe da aiko da shi mataimakin gwamna honorable idi Farida Gubana da kuma sakatar gwamnati a uh, malam baba malam wali da ita honorable commissioner dr mero amshi da ta sakatare na sema dukan su suna nan sun halarci wannan gurin da gobaran ya taso to wannan ba karamin kafin gura suka ba jami'a ba kaga mu kuma mun samu karfi mu kai ta abin da ya kamata mu yi wace gari baka ci gaba da tallafawa masu wannan yan matan da kuma muka yi duk abin da ya kamata mu yi a yanzu haka muna kan bincike menene ya kawo wannan hadarin gobaran kuma menene za a yi a gaba saboda a kiyaye a kuwan irin wannan masifa a gaba adu'a rugashuwa labaran kaftan tv hausa daga damaturu jahar yobe shugaban kungiyar masu bukata ta musamman na jahar borno mustafa muhammad muhammad da Abubakar shugaban kungiyar wato Gurago na jihar Borno sun gi kira ga gwamnatocin Najeriya da su dinga samar da tsare tsare don inganta ta musu rayuwa sun yi kiran ne yayin da suke zantawa da wakilin mu na gombe Muhammad Ibrahim Pantami wanda yake ci da su a wurin wani taron bita da aka shiryawa masu bukata ta musamman na jihohin gombe Borno da kuma Yobe ga ci gaban rahoton nashi Taron bita na ne uku mai taken ilimi ga kowa da kowa masu bukata ta musamman da wadannan ba masu bukata ta musamman ba ana gudanar wani a masaukin baki na Emerald da ke jihar Egombe Mustafa Muhammad shugaban kungiyar masu bukata ta musamman na jihar Borno da kuma Muhammad Abubakar shugaban kungiyar Gurago na jihar Borno dukkanin su sun ce samu da tsare tsare masu kyau wurin inganta rawa masu bukata ta musamman din yana da matukar alfano kuma zai karfa musu guyuwa ganin sun yi gogayyar bidar ilimi da masu bukata ta musamman da kuma da sabu bukata ta musamman din eh shine mu samu inclusive education wanda kowa da kowa na mai na kace sai shiga cikin ma wanda ba su da nakasa su yi karatu su fayyace iya nakasa yake kace a he na kace shi ma zai ya karatu shine inclusive education da muke akan wannan muke wannan training akwai abin da ake cewa wai noting about us with our course akwai abin da ya kamata irin kamar shi abin da shi shugaban kasa yayi da sauran jihohin suke kamar dauka masu bada shawara da kuma irin commission na hukumar wanda ake nan da kasasun duka da ya kamata da hakkar wasu wannan kuma toci abin da muke zo da gaban tuwa akwai training center wanda musamman da aka ce babu na kashe sai kashe sai a ko training center dinka kuma muka sana'a kenan ko ko ke yin sana'o'i ko ne ke yin dinki a ko ne ke yin welding a ko ne ke yin aluminium irin kofofin window sabu ba duka masu bukata ta musamman kuna yi akwai idan ka go ta bangaren murkafi ma akwai wayan da ke yin irin abin da ake daure shanu da wasu taburbobi duka masu bukata ta musamman kuna yi akwai abin da ake cewa idan kana kan ka taimaki mutum ka san ta hanyar da kake kan ka taimake shi to abo ni misali akwai mutumin da yau ka bashi naira dubu an kunya kai jarin sa ko dan ka bashi naira miliyan 1 ba kai jarin sa ba Muhammad Ti Ali da kuma Idris 
haruna jama ina na gwamnati jihar borno da suka rikiya ga mahallata wannan tare da gajiya ta borno wasu ba wasu kuka ta musamman kasan borno state Allah ya jarrabe mu da wannan insurgency for over 10 years uh, insurgency so now the borno state development plan uh, government professor Abubakar Omar Azulu on coming into uh, administration suka launch in what we call the 25 years. so ankaus workshop na agani me ne manufan su me ne bukatun su saboda biya system so that the government is at a tolerant interventions that are people centered a uh, participants kullum muna ta musu sahimma one shine opportunity na su anan ainihi su focusing su contributing so that za a yi incorporating dukkan needs na su yanda state din take to fear da kowa muna gombe yau kwa yini mu na biyu kenan muna dan taron bita na kara wa juna sani akan matsayar ilimi ga baki daya muna so mu ga cewa duk da wanda ya kai shekarun shiga makaranta ya zaman to cewa yana da daman samu karatu daga gombe Muhammad Ibrahim Pantami labaron kaftan TV Hausa Gwamnatin Jihar Kaduna Ubasani ya ce matsalolin tsaro dake addabar jihar da sauran sassan Najeriya ba za su kare ba har sai an kafa ƴan sandan jihar domin tallafawa kokarin hukumomin tsaro da ake da su Gwamnatin Sani ya bayyana haka ne a wata hira da gidan jarida a ranar Lahadi 18 ga watan Fabrairun shekarar 2024 Jawabin nasa ya biyo bayan harin da ƴan bindiga suka kai wasu kauyuka a kananan hukumomin Kajuru Igabi da wato kauro na jihar ta Kaduna. Gwamnatin ya ce kokarin da gwamnatin Kaduna ta yi da sauran hukumomin tsaro ya sa abin ya yi muni kwareba da gaske ba. Gwamnatin ya ce kokarin da gwamnatin Kaduna ta yi da sauran hukumomin tsaro ya sa abin bai yi wani wato wato a bai yi wani tasiri ba. Baga doki da aka kai wadanda abin ya shafa cikin gaggawa wadanda suka ji rauni kuma an garzaya da su asibiti domin kula da su a cikin watannin da suka gabata da an yi taro da manyan jami'an tsaro da suka hadar da sojoji ƴan sanda jami'an tsaro na farin kaya wato DS da kuma jami'an tsaro na wato cikin gida haka nan kuma sun hada a wato hannu da da kuma shugabannin wato gargajiya da na al'umma domin tabbatar da tattara bayanan sirri da kuma musayar bayani kuma an yi min cewa an yi nune cewa za su iya magance wannan matsalan tare da kubutar da wadanda aka sace a cikin kwanaki masu zuwa bayan haka ya ce nan ba da dadewa ba dai za a kafa sababbin sansanin soji a fadin kasa har domin dakile matsalolin tsaro a fadin jihar ta Kaduna Gwamnatin jihar Gombe ta ci gaba da rushe gidajen gala a Gombe a kokarin da ake yi na tsaftace al'umma da dakile aikata fasadi Ba wannan ne karo na farko ba da gwamnatin jihar ke rushe irin wadannan gidaje a fadin jihar ta Gombe. Daga Gombe dai wakilin labarun kaftan TV Hausa Muhammad Ibrahim Pantami na dauke da cigaban rahoton. Rusa gidajen na gala da ake a fadin jihar da Gombe dai musamman cikin kwararar garin Gombe da kyau inda nane aka bi samun gidajen na gala na zuwa ne biyo bayan yawan korafe-korafe da jama'an gare ki yayi ne bisa fasari da badala da ake tafka irin wadannan gidaje na gala labarin da mutane da dama suka hakake cewa yana gurba ta tarbiyar al'umma musamman mala'akari da cewa ana lalata yara mata kanana wasu mazauna an gwar bularin gabas inda aka rusa gidajen na gala a makon da ya gabata sun bayyana farin cikin su mutuka gwamnatin jihar Gombe saboda namijin kokari da take yi na ci gaba da rusa gidajen na gala don tsabtace al'umma kowanne tsanani an ce na tare da sauki yau Allah ya ka mana karshe wannan zalunci da ake mana wannan wahalan da muke sha sanadin ke ba green ha dogan gida san da aka kai ni ga wannan yariya jika ta ce akan cin mutuncin da yan abun lojin da suka yi wai da an yi magana suka zo suka same suka same ni da mamansu wallahi tana da ciwon kansa suka dake ta kan nonan ta na aka ebe mu aka ji aka ji aka zuba mu da yake su hukuma ba su same yake faruwa ba yana gaba suka bincike suka gane me yake wannan ta hanbaru gombe 
Allah saka mishida antai. Allah biash de kidam anjanda. Allah bash yuko diki al uman de Allah wadi de dora mishida akenshi. Makaramu taki mo kati pade ayam mo dezi kochu 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 Gwamna chintiar 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 Ya bayi na chewa a halin rugun tsumi matsalar tattalin aziki in kasa da ake fama da a ce shine dai shugaban kasa zai umurci babban bankin Najeriya ya bijiro da hanyar da za a bi a hankali cikin sauki domin dakile tsadar kudaden kasashen ketare musamman ma dalar Amurka cikin wani bayani da Atiku ya watsa a shafin sa na Twitter wato X a ranar Lahadi Atiku ya bijiro da wasu hanyoyin da yake za su ida za su ida za a bi su sune mafita ga tsallake su radin da tattalin arzikin Najeriya ta rufta a ciki yace da an yi hakan to da zai dakatar da faduwar darajar naira yace da shi aka zaba a shugaban kasa da wannan tsarin zai bijiro da shi idan ba manta ba dai CBN ya karya darajar naira domin a samu shigowar kudade daga hannun masu zuba jari daga kasashen waje to sai dai kuma tsarin ya ragargaza darajar naira sosai kuma kwalliya ba ta biya kudin sabulu ba game da tsadar rayuwa kuma tuni dai kungiyoyin kwadago za su yi wa tsadar abinci da tsadar rayuwa zanga zargar wato game gari kungiyar kwadagon da ya ta kasa NLC ta buga wato gangar fita zanga zangar ne nuna damuwa dangane da tsadar abinci da tsadar rayuwa har na tsawon kwanaki biyu Kungiyar da ya ta kwadago ta shirya yin zanga zangan ne a rana 27 da kuma 28 ga wannan wata ta fa bayro kamar yadda shugaban kungiyar kwadago ta kasa Joy Ajero ya bayyana a ranar Juma'a yayin wata ganawar da ya kira da su ga manema labari a headquarter NNC da ke nan babban birnin Tarayya Abuja Ajero ya kara da cewa sun yanke shawarar tafiya zanga zangar ne yayin yajin aiki da bayan cikarwa din da suka ba gwamnatin Tarayya na kwanaki 14 domin ta shawo kan gagarimar matsalar tsadar rayuwa da ake fama da ita a fadin kasan nan da kuma a cikin makon jiya ne dai kungiyar ta kwadago ta nemi a kara wato gejin mafi kankantar albashi daga naira 30 zuwa naira miliyan 1 yayin da yan Najeriya ke fama da radadin tsadar rayuwa da ta kai har an fa rayuwa wato yunwa zanga zangar fito na fito a wasu sassan kasan nan Shugaban kungiyar ta kwadago Joy Ajero ya bayyana cewa mai yiwa kungiyar ta nemi gwamnatin Najeriya ta yi kare mafi kankantar albashi da ganera 230 ya koma da ganera miliyan 1 zuwa sama. Mai martaba sarkin Bade Alhaji Abubakar Umar Suleiman mai bade ya hori jama'a da su zama masu wato dabiyar wanzar da zaman lafiya da kaunar juna da kuma kokarin kawo hanyoyin cigaba a tsakanin al'umma. Ya bayyan hakan ne a wajen taron da kungiyar Bade Development Forum ta kasa ta gudanar a garin Dagon cikin wato karmar hukumar Bade. Wakilin mu na Jahar Yobe a do yaro gashuwa na da cigaban labarin. Ganin yadda kungiyar Bade Development Forum ta kasa suka gudanar da babban taro da suka saba yi da shekara shekara taron da ya gudana a garin Dagon a karmar hukumar Bade. Duba da kawo cigaba da hadin kai da maliko da aladu da yarka mai martaba sarkin Bade Alhaji Abubakar Umar Suleiman mai bade ya albarkaci wannan taro ya kuma ja hankalin jama'a da su zamo masu kishin jama'ar su wadan lalubo hanyoyin zaman lafiya tsakanin al'umma to yau rana ce ta farin ciki ga dukkan wanda ake kiran su bade rana ce ta farin ciki ba dan komai ba an halara dan 
San Juna, Akanda Juna, Apai Juna, Kumaga, Yedda, Za Tebakawa, Uma, the Chigaba. I gave you a Ibrahim Garbadala, the Chedama Sugarman, when you're about the forum. Yes, she won and taro, Yana had the Zumunchi, Kani and Akao, Dunkoli, Audi Guda, the Sabo, the Juna, Maka, you won and Tarone, Doman, Chigaban Kasam, then Chigaba, but this Samoba, second Africa, the Matana, Kasanku, Baba Machi, Zaka Samalaya, do Matina Zonaka, Arzikinda, Ze Masa, and Pani Araiwasa, and Malcolm Ericapta, Jeji, Neman. Muhammad Inua Kazir, so on Sojani, Yagal and Haski, Danganeda, one and Taro, and the Sky one and Sukavo one and Taro, Maza, the Mata, the Bonsu, the Gakasan Kasena, Jigawa, Yobe, the Kuma, Jahar Bauchi, Munaiwa Allah Godia, Yakao, Slapia, Kuma Allah, Ubangi, Yamed. Su gida lafiya Allah kuma ya maimaita mana irin wannan taro cikin koshin lafiya su ma wasu daga cikin mahalatta taron ga yadda suke cewa mu yanzu akwai mu kokari muke mu hada kan yan uwa duk mutumin da ya shigo kasar bade ba ma sai kai ba bade ba in dai ka shigo mana nan kasar bade to in Allah yadda zamu rungume hannu bibiyu da mu da kai da ma wanda bai zo ba muna mara ba da zuwan shi dukkan I tend to make a tire cab of a tower tower, even one number. The four comics are coming, Martava, Sarkim Buddy, Al Haji, a bucker, Omar Suleiman, Allah, Kawashi, Eden Su, Al Haji Hassa, Lebedo, Eden Suba, Galadima, Gasan, and Dima Yama Yamu, when the Dimbo Moses has over Allah, Kaos, Minu Allah Gudia, who Minya or Al Uma Gudia, and the Minu Shrug and Banum Gudia, Tamasama, Sakamoko, Eden. Mamu, the Mutin Tamu, the Sukai, the Zua, and one Taro, Ankuma, Kamala Taran, the Karama, Sugarman, when year, but the forum Takasa, when the Alaban Jamir Tari, I took a language of Karamashi, Aduado Geshua, Captain TB Hausa, the Gadama Turu, Jahar Yubi. And going here, Boko Aram Sunkawa, going Allawa, the Kay Karmoro Kumar Shiroro, a Jahar Naja, Hari in the Ska, Kona Gida J. Samadat Latin. Inda suka kona da kuma abinci dabbobi da ababen amfani masu yawa maharan sun shiga kawai ne da misalin karfe 8 da Arabi da minti 5 na dare Lahadi inda suka karbar wato Allah suka dinga kabbara suna suna bi gida gida suna cin namus wuta mutanen gari dai sun ce maharan sun zarce minti 30 da fice wasu kawai kafin sojoji suka isa sun ce babu wadda ya ji rauni sannan ba rasa rai ko daya ba amma har yanzu akwai wasu mutanen da ba a gan su ba bayan wato harin wani mazaunin kawayan yahuza allawa ya ce da maharan suka kashe da sun kashe mutane da dama idan da a ce jami'an tsaron ba su kawo musu dauki a lokacin da suka yi ba barnan da maharan da suka yi a kawayan allawa wani manumi a kawayan timoti wadabe ya ce maharan sun koma gida wato sun kona gidan sa ko allura bai tsira da shi ba inda yace ya aje wake buhu 30 da masara 20 cikin gida da duk suka kone gaba daya baya ga gidaje da suka kona mutanen sun rasa dabbobi su da wasu kaya masu amfani da dama kafin harin na ran lahadin da maran na ta kaiwa kauyukan da ke kusa da Allahwa hari daban-daban ko a ranar juma da ta gabata mahara sun kai wa wato wurin da ake hakoma a dinai wato wato suke suka kashe ya haya adamu da zaharuddin nabzuwa a wannan wurin a ranar dai maharan sun yi kokarin kawawa kawayan Allahwa hari da misalin karfe 8 da rabi inda dai amma jami'an tsaro suka fata take su haka ma a ranar asaba din da ta gabata maharan sun kashe mutane uku a kawayan samu naka ta unguwar wato sarkin noma bayan haka dai a ranar lahadi maharan suka kai wa kawayan wato kaliya pangu hari yayin da mazauna kawayan suka gudu zuwa Allahwa domin samun bafaka sanan da dare mahakan suka wato maharan da suka abkawa kawayan na Allahwa commissioner tsaron cikin gida na jahar garba muhammad ya tabbatar da cewa gwamnati za ta dauki tsatsauran matakai domin kawo karshen rashin tsaro a fadin jahar ta naija commissioner yan sanda na jahar gombe cp hayatu usman ya yi kira ga jama'a jahar gombe da su ci gaba da taimakawa jami'an tsaro da muhimman bayani don magance ayyukan ba ta gari 
yayi wannan kiran ne a lokacin da mutane suka tsare ana zargin su da aika talif ka da bandaban wakilin mu na gombe muhammad ibrahim pantami na da ci gaban rahoton da yake jawabi yayi nuna wadanda ake zargi da aika talif fukan game ne malabaru cp hayatu usman commissioner yan sanan jihar gombe wanda ya magana ta bakin kakakin rundunar yan sanan jihar ta gombe asp mahir muaz abubakar ya ce wadanda ake zargi da aika talif fukan su 23 ne inda yace ana zargin wasu su da kisan kai da kuma satar babur game da ma wadanda ake zargi da satar babbar mota trailer game da wata mata da ake zargin ta da sayen kayan sata mushirin yan sandan jihar gombe cp hatu usman psc yana kara godiya wa al'umman jihar gombe na hadin kan da suke ba wa rundunar yan sandan jihar gombe wajen ganin cewa an magance miyago a wannan jiha don hadin kan da ake samu da bayanai da muke samu na sirri shi yake ba mu nasara kan abubuwa kan wannan nasarori da muke da muke samu a yau da gobe kuma muna kira da al'umma da su ci gaba da sa ido akan dukiyan su su ci gaba da sa ido akan ƴaƴan su da suka haifa gadin cewa akwai wadanda burin su kawai su ga sun bata mu yadin ya rayuwa ko kuma su bata rayuwan yara kanana wasu daga cikin wadanda ake zargi da aika da laifofuka a zanta da ake da su sun nuna dama su tare da bukatun cewa ai musu sassauci Muhammad Ibrahim Pantani na Gagombe labarun kaftan TV Hausa Rotu ni daga garin nasarawar zulmi a jihar Zamfara sun ce wani dan sanda ya rasa ransa yayin da biyu suka jikata a harin da yan bindiga suka kai da yammacin ranar Ladi. Rotu ni sun ce dai maharan sun bude wuta ne kan mai uwa da wabi tare da kone gidaje. Wasu bayane sun bayyana cewa lamarin ya faru ne bayan wani samame da jami'ar rundunar kare fararen hula da gwamnatin jihar ta sama suka kai maboyar yan bindigar tare da kashe wasu daga cikin su da kuma kwashe makaman su. Labarin da yasa a ranar Lahadi da yammaci yan bindigar suka yi shirin wato na musamman suka tunkari garin na nasawar ta zurmi yayin da mutane yake shirin yin sallan magariba a lokuta da dama da ya jami'an tsaro kan ce ba a sanar da su irin wadannan abubuwan da ke faruwa a kan lokaci domin kai agajin gaggawa to sai dai mutanen garin na wato garin na nasarawan zurmi dai sun ce duk da sansanin wato karta kwana na rundunar sojin da ke kusa da su wadanda ba su fito ba domin kare su sun yi kokarin wajen buga wayoyi domin sanar da ƴan uwan su dake gusau sannan ne wasu sojoji daga wato kaura suka kawo musu dauke game da wannan al'amari da yayin ta kokarin jin ta bakin mai magana da yawar rundunar ta ƴan sanda na Najeriya a jihar ta Zamfara DSP Yazid Abubakar sai dai bai amsa dukkanin wasu kirayi kirayen wayoyi da aka yi ta masa ba haka shi ma kakakin gwamnatin jihar Suleiman Bala Idris mai amsa waya ba har zuwa lokacin da aka tattaro wadannan labarai jihar Zamfara dai na daya daga cikin jihohin da suka fi fama da matsalar tsaro a Najeriya inda kai hari kan fararen hula ya zama ruwan dare mahukunta dai na cewa suna daukar matakan kawo karshen matsalar tsaro to amma a zahiri abin yana ta karuwa don haka ne ma wasu ke ganin da saurarri na a kaba yayin da zabukan kananan hukumomi a jihar Gombe ke kara karatowa matasa na fitowa ta karar mukamai daban-daban a zabukan da za a gudanar a ranar 27 ga watan sada afrilo wannan shekara ga dai rawatan wakilin mu na Gombe Muhammad Ibrahim Pantami idan da yaza iya tunawa zabe da aka gabatar na kananan hukumomi a jihar Gombe a shekara ta 2022 matasa da dama ne suka fito takara Labarin da ake gani shine ma ya zaburar da karin matasa yan siyasa da ta gombe su fito takaran mu kawai daban-daban a zaben kananan hukumi da za gudanar a ranar 27 ga watan fabrairu wannan shekara a jihar ta gombe Ibrahim Hassan GTO ɗaya ne daga cikin matasa yan siyasa da yake takarar neman matsayin mataimakin shugaban kananan hukumar Akko a jam'iyyar PDP a zan tawar shi da labarun kaftan TV Hausa a Gombe din kadan bayan ya gabatar da wannan taro da shugabannin jam'iyyar PDP na karamar hukumar Akko ya ce wani fatarin ita ce neman goyon bayan su kasance wannan shugabannin 
jam'iya kana yana da tanadi da yayi domin bada gudun moshi na samun karin ce gabar kurin huma karamar hukumar ta akko saboda matsayin shi na matashi akwai gagarin gudunwa da zai bada abin da yasa ita karamar hukumar akko akwai shi ga bayani na hati akwai tamomin na wat akwai tasko na local government muka ga a matsayin mun zai takara dani da tamomin na bayani da ni alfarman su a matsayin su na yayin jami'a mu zo mu shugabanci karamar hukumar akko da yaddan Allah da yaddan su ba don komai ba don akwai gudunmuwan da za mu taka kwari da gaske abun da ya shafi noma da kiyo da kasuwanci a irin halin ake ciki na nyunwa na kunci na kalauci mata sada sanani muka ga mu hada kai mu zo mu tattauna mu ga abun da za a yi da dane ido a yau sakamakon tattaunawa dai mun nemi alfarman su da su zo su goda mu a matsayin za mu tsaya wannan takara eh shi taman dai mu ko hanbe da su ne sai da takarar taman ne kuma cikin ikon Allah in masa takarar da biki da yaddan Allah kana damawa da matasa matasa sun fi kawo ci gaba abun da ya faru mafi yawa duk kasar nan ta toru akan sun ga ta wannan su ne suka dora mu a keken dera muke cikin wannan hali do akwai za mu farfado da abun da ya shafi noma in ka kula dai noma yanzu a rubutu ake yi ana maganar cewa noma noma amma an kashe an kashe noma a wannan gwamnati gwamnati a bisa sun kashe noma domin duk lokacin da ba ta ke to daga nan an shiga kuntin da shi abinci daga gombe muhammad ibrahim fantami labarun kaftan tv hausa Masu kallon mu labaran duniya ke ne yake zuwa muku daga nan gidan talabijin na Kaftan Hausa daga nan babban birnin tarayya Abuja a dakacewa su kallon mu labaran duniya ke ne yake zuwa muku daga nan gidan talabijin na Kaftan Hausa daga nan bambirin tarayya Abuja a yanzu kuwa sai labaran kasashen ketare Amurka ta gabatar da daftarin kudiri ga gwamnatin sulhu na majalisin dinkin duniya wadda ya bukaci a tsagaita bude wuta na wucin gadi a Gaza ta kuma gargadi Isra'ila game da mamaye birnin Rafa inda Falistinawa da dama ke neman mafaka a bayyana da amurkan ta kaucewa kalmar tsagaita wuta a lokacin kudin da misin dinkin duniya ta kada kan yakin amma yanzu dai shugaba Joe Biden yayi kirarin wadannan kalamai sai dai kuma amurka na shirin yin watsi da wani daftarin na kudiri daga Algeria wadda ya bukaci a tsagaita bude wuta na jinkai cikin gaggawa fiye da Falistinawa dai miliyan guda ne da suka rasa matsugunan su wadanda ke wakiltar wato kusan rabin al'umar Gaza ne ke neman mafaka a Rafa binnin Rafa da yake kudancin kasar wadda ke kan iyaka da Masar ya kasance wurin da mutane 250 ne kawai ke wato kawai kafin yakin yawancin mutane da suka rasa madugunan su suna zaune ne a cikin sansanoni ko tuntuna a cikin mawuncin hali tare da karancin samun tsabtataccen ruwan sha ko abinci mai san dinkin duniya da ya tafitar da wato na ta gargadin cewa harin da Isra'ila ke shirin kaiwa birnin na iya haifar da bala'in da mace-mace mutane da dama Shugaban kasar Senegal Macky Sall ya fara tattaunawa da yan siyasa kan sabuwar ranar gudanar da zaben kasar inji jaridar Le Quetedo mai zaman kanta a kasar kasar dai ta fada cikin rudani ne bayan da shugaba Sall ya dage zaben da za a yi a ranar 25 ga watan Fabero kafin babbar kotun kasar ta soke matakin tare da yin kira da gudanar da zabe cikin gaggawa hagana an sanar da shugaba na Senegal ya baina sabuwar ranar nan ba da jimawa ba a halin da ake ciki kuma ya takarar shugaban kasa Royce Wadini wadda mai san tsarin mulkin kasar ta wanke a watan janairun duk da kasancewar ta yar kasar Senegal da Faransa ta fice daga zaben kamar yadda shafin internet din ya rawaito batun wardi na daga cikin batutuwa da shugaba Sall da jam'iyyar Democrat yar wato Senegal wato PDS suka gabatar 
domin tabbatar da dage zaben har zuwa watan December domin bada damar gudanar da bincike kan tantance ɗan takarar shugaban kasa mummunar zanga zangar dai da aka yi a Senegal ta sa Faransa da tarayyar Turai da kuma kungiyar Equas ta yammacin Afirka suka bukaci salda ya mutun ta shawarar mai san tare da gudanar da zabe cikin gaggawa mai san dinkin duniyar dai ta ce matsane cin wato karancin abinci da rashin abinci mai gina jiki da ta zara cuttuka na iya isa ga ingiza karuwar mutuwar kananan yara a zirin Gaza Makonni 20 da fara wannan yake tsakanin Isra'ila da Hamas a yankin zirin Gaza. Hukumomin majalisar dinkin duniya sun yi kashedin cewa akwai matsanancin karancin abinci da tsabtaccen ruwan sha a yankin na Falastinawa. Inda suka kara da cewa aka sarin kananan yara sun kamu da cuttuka masu yaduwa. Mataimakin shugaban ayyukan jinkai a asosin kula da kananan yara na majalisar dinkin duniya Ted Chaiban ya ce zirin Gaza zai fuskanci mutuwar kananan yara wadda zai ta'azzara halin da ake ciki a halin yanzu wani nazari da na hadin guyuwa da hukumomin majalisar dinkin duniya suka yi na nuni da cewa kashi 90 na kananan yara daga shekaru 5 zuwa kasa a Gaza suna kamuwa da cuttuka masu yaduwa kashi 70 na kananan yara dai sun yi fama da cutar amai da gudawa gabanin wannan nazari Abin da ke nuni da kare har ninki 23 idan aka kwatanta da shekarar 2022 karin da mayakan wato harin da mayakan Hamas suka kai ga Isra'ila a ranar 7 ga watan Oktoba wanda ya sanadiyar mutuwar mutane 1160 ne ya haddasa yakin na Gaza mukunta nazirin Gaza dai sun ce hare-haren da Isra'ila ke kai wa yankin yayi sanadiyar mutuwar mutane 129 a halin da ake ciki tunda aka fara wannan yakin na zirin Gaza ya fada cikin matsalar wato karancin abinci mai gina jiki sakamakon yadda aka takaita shigar da kayakin agaji yankin shugabar kwariya na kasar gini wato mamadi wato dumbuwa ya kori dukkan ministocin sa ya kuma umurce su da su mika wato fasfor din su da masu gadin su da motocin hukuma tare da hana su amfani da asusun ajiyar su na banki Babban sakadaren fatar shugaban kasa wato Brigadia Amara Kamara shine bayyana hakan ba za ta da ba tsammani a wata sanar wadda aka karanta a gidan talabijin na RTG manyan jami'an wadanda aka gayyace su zuwa fatar shugaban kasa domin zaman aiki za su wato gari raga wato tafiyar da wato ma'aikatun gwamnati har sai wato an nada sabuwar majalisar ministoci inji Brigadia General Kamara ba dai bayyana dalilin yanke hukuncin ba amma an umurci komandojin wato jandarma da yan sanda da su rufe dukkanin iyakokin kasar har sai an mika ma'aikatun gwamnatin gaba daya kasar da ke yammacin afirka ta kasance karkashin mulkin soja tun bayan da sojoji suka kwace mulki a watan satumban shekarar 2021 babbar kungiyar tattalin arziki da siyasa ta yankin wato Equas ta dade tana matsawa gwamnatin mulkin sojan kasar Lamba kanta gudanar da zabe tare da maido da mulkin farar hula bangarori dai biyu sun amince da wadin mika mulki na watanni 24 a watan Oktoban shekarar 2022 majalisar mulkin sojan dai ya rage watanni 10 ta shirya zabu ka da mika mulki ga farar hula kamar yadda da jaulin Equas din ya amince da shi Masu kallon mu labaran duniya ke ne yake zuwa muku daga nan gidan talabijin na Kaftan Hausa daga nan babban birnin tarayya Abuja a yanzu kuwa sai labaran kasuwanci Asusun bada alamu ni na duniya wanda aka fi sani da IMF ya bi jirowa da Najeriya da wasu sharuwari da yake idan aka yi amfani da su to za a hau kan turban sai sai ta tattalin arzikin Najeriya daga cikin shawarwarin da da IMF din ya ce ya kamata babban bankin Najeriya wato CBA ya matse hannu ya rage sakin kudade sai dai kuma babbar shawarar da bankin ya bayar ita ce aka ara adadin wato gejin kudin ruwa abin da yake idan aka yi hakan nan da watanni shida zuwa shekara daya lamarin zai daidaita kuma a wato ya sese to inda suka ce ya kamata a rage wato yawan kudin wato ruwa yayin taron committee wato tsara hada hadar kudade na MPC domin da aka yi hakan to nan da watanni shida zuwa shekara daya lamarin zai daidaita 
hakanin kuwa IMF ya bada shawara a tatsayewa tattoliyar adadin kudaden hada hada ta yadda daga farko za a maida hankali wajen tatsaye naira biliyan 800 na rarar asusun ajiya ta yadda a cikin shekara daya za a iya tatsara wato har naira triliyan biyu hakanin kuma IMF ya bada shawarar a kara kudaden ruwa a daidai lokacin da lalacewar darajar naira ya kai duk dala daya akan naira dubu daya da 500 da 30 da hudu da farashin gwamnatin tarayya a cikin labarin da bankin na IMF ya shawarci Najeriya da ta cire tallafin fetor kwata-kwata da tallafin kudin wutar lantarki bankin bada alamuni na duniya da IMF ya shawarci Najeriya da kara rufe ido ta cire dan sauran tallafin fetor da tallafin kudin wutar lantarki gaba daya domin ta magance matsalolin da suka da baibaita ta tattalin arzikin na kasa Ayame bitaw kuma ce kuda dan tallafin sune ke kara wato damar mala tattalin arzikin Najeriya. Bankin ya ce kuma wannan matsala ta tallafi ce ke kara rura wutan talauci da matsalar abinci a kasar. A cikin rahoton da Ayame bai fitar kan Najeriya, Ayame ya bai bayyana muhimmancin cire tallafin fetor da nawo tallantarki domin a karkatar da magudan kuda dan tallafin da gwamnati ke daukar nauyin biya wajen yin ayyukan raya kasa da raya al'umma da kudaden. Ayami ya ci gaba da cewa bayar da wannan shawara ce a halin yanzu da ake tsakiyar fama da wato fadin tsadar rayuwa da masifar tsadar kayan abinci wadda ba ta ofuskanta irin ta ba a tarihin Najeriya amma kuma Ayami ya bada shawara cewa gwamnati ta dan yi wa marasa gali wani dan isanin rage musu radin tsadan na rayuwa Anan kuwa masu kamfanin sarrafa siminti na Najeriya sun amince da su rage farashin sa zuwa tsakanin naira 7400 kan buhu na wato mai nauyin kilogram 50. Masu kamfanin sarrafa siminti sun bayyana cewa a shirye suke su rage farashin nan gaba da wato zarar gwamnatin tarayya ta cika alƙawaran da ta daukar musu. A raito cewa da an cin ma wannan matsaya ne tsakanin gwamnati da masu kamfani a wani taro da ministan ayyuka. Senator David Umar ya yi kira a ranar litinin a nan babban birnin tarayya Abuja. Kamfanonin dan gote da ya dabuwa da Lafarge Africa sun amince cewa farashin shininti ba zai wuce tsakanin naira 7700 da naira wato 8000 kan kowanne buhu ba mai nauyin kilogram 50 ya danganta da yankin. Tarun ya samu halartar ministan harkokin masala'antu da kasuwanci da hannun jari wato Doris Uzoka Anite. Doris Uzoka Anite ta ce ana kokarin wajen magance matsalolin da suka haifar da wato dagawar farashin siminti bagatatan. Kasar Burkina Faso za ta karbe bakoncin taron sa wato shawar wari da kamfanonin wutar lantarki na wato game da kasashen yankin Sahel wato wanda ga sani da AEs da suka hadar da Niger, Mali, Burkina Faso da zai gudana daga ranar 20 da wato ranar 20 zuwa 22 ga watan Fabairun shekarar 2024 a birnin Wagadugu na kasar ta Burkina Faso. Faso ta zama kasa ya wato Burkina Faso ta zama kasa ta farko da taro minin da wato da taro minin sojin makaman sai da takwarorin ta suka karrama domin shirya babban taron Noe mako wato fasa makomar makama shida dore wasa awana sabor kungi ya taya nki nsahel. Tarun zeo gudana bisa takia watane da baru do mins aro samaru da wutala ntariki ga kasa shen kungi ya raiz. Hau kuma wana zaman taruna da manufa tataradu kani masuru wada zaki na wato bangare makama shi a chikin shiria yanki nta sahel. Do minyi musu wato musaya raawi da kuma yung Musayar kwari wada tata wanak alu bali hadi ngui wa hadeke da na sabah da watu sama da makama shi. Kampanoni ngutalan tariki nde da mambo bingu ingi ya naka sa shenyenki ntasa hil. Za suraba kwari wasu dokuma gaba tada sharu warin kao sawi watu sawi nchikin zamu ni te da za amsa buka tung al umu mishira kasa shenyenki ntasa hil. Azawa wata na yi watu azawa wata na mkwa na ki ukude akwe shawar warida kuma maharo warida bandabang da taru kang ara wajuna sani kang maudu ya mwana shikara. Akala mano madubuta latinda shida ni ajahar gombi zao chiga jiri shiri no mamfadama na watu goki eskaro na ukuda maya katar aiki ngona. Da ikiwa ndabu bita shiri atabada watu iri don no marani da maga nimpe shida sawaransu. Koordinator Shirin Agwambe Dr. Babio Maka 
shine sanadda hakan a lokacin kaddamar da wato rabon kayakin wa manoma a harabar ma'aikata ta aikin gona a fadar ja ta gombe Dr. Maka ya bayyana gwamnatin jihar Gombe Alhaji Muhammadu Inwa Hayya kan bada kudiya kan lokaci don farantawa manoma inda ya ci hakan ya tabbatar da cewa gwamnatin yana kokari sosai a cewar sa cikin noma wato cikin manoma 336 da 300 da zasu amfana 331 wato manoma ne da aka ba su kayan amfanin gona irin masara da magungunan feshi da na shuka da takin zamani da kuma dabbobi da sauran abubuwan more rayuwa sauran manoman da basu da galihu su 2800 da suka hada da mata da matasa sun kuma wato an tallafa musu da wato injinan barruwa da injinan markade domin ganin yadda za su taimake kansu a cewar coordinator za su gina lambatu hudu za su gyara kananan dam dam guda 8 domin shayar da dabbobi a karkashin shirin noman fadama da zai samar da aikin kai tsaye ga mutun 2200 wasu daga cikin wadanda suka ci gajiyar shirin da suka zanta da manema labare sun ce suna cike da farin ciki za su yi amfani da abubuwan da suka samu domin farfado daga halin da aka tsinci kaina cutar corona idan za iya tunawa dai manoma daban-daban maza da mata a jar sun amfana da kashi na farko da na biyu na shirin inda aka ba su kayakin aikin gona da irin shuka da magunguna da kuma sauran kayan amfanin gona daban-daban Kasashen yammacin Afirka ta ci a makon da ya gabata ne Jamhuriyar Niger ta ga zabiyan bashin wato Saifa biliyan 13 da miliyan 400 ko tankwacin dalar Amurka miliyan 22 a cewar hukumar zuwa yanzu dai adadin bashin ya kai dalar Amurka miliyan 519 tun bayan kifar da gwamnatin demokradiyar kasar a watan Yuli da kuma dakatar da kasar daga kasuwannin hada-hadar kudi na yankin yammacin kasashen Afirka a watan da ya gabata dai Niger tare da makwabtanta Mali da Burkina Faso suka cin ma matsayar ficewa daga kungiyar Ecowas nan take bayane sun nini da cewa wannan ya faru ne sakamakon takunkumin da kasashe da kuma kungiyoyin suka kaka ba wa jamhuriyar Niger din biyo bayan wato ji mulkin sojoji tun bayan ji mulkin dai Niger ke fama da tattalin arzikin ta wadda ya hadu da tangarda sakamakon dakatar da huldan kasuwanci da kuma hada hadar kudade da wasu kungiyoyi suke yi da ita kungiyar Ecowas dai na shirin gudanar da wani tarun gaggawa domin tattauna batun ficewar kasashen Mali, Burkina Faso da Jamhuriyar ta Niger daga cikin ta domin duba irin tasirin da hakan ke da shi kan tattalin arziki ko aka sun haka masu kallon mu labaran duniya ke ne yake zuwa muku daga nan gidan talabijin na Kaftan Hausa daga nan babban birnin tarayya Abuja a yanzu kuwa sai labaran nishadi kotun musulunci dake unguwar sharada a jihar Kano ta yanke hukuncin daure a gidan yari ga matashiya yar TikTok wato Ramlat Muhammad kotun ta yanke wa jarumar TikTok din da hukuncin ne kan samun ta da laifin badala fitsara da kuma yawan ta wato yawan ta zubar a maimakon wannan rana ta ranar 19 ga watan fabirin shekarar 2024 ne mai shari'a sane ta nemu hausawa ya yanke wa ramlar hukuncin daure na tsawon wata bakwai da zabin biyan taron naira 50 hukumar hizba ta jihar Kano ce ta gurfanar da ita kan lefaf kan da suka dadda fitsara da rashin tarbiya da yada badala iri iri da kuma yawan zubar da mutunci sai kuma fitsara wadda ya saba da sashi na 385 a tumar farko dai da alƙalin ya yanke wa ramlar hukuncin zaman gidan yari na tsawon wato wata uku ko kuma zabin tara na naira 30 sai laifin yawan banza wadda kansa alƙalin ya yanke mata hukuncin daurin wata uku da zabin biyan tara na naira 20 a laifi na uku da aka kama ta ta da shafi na fitsara kuma alƙalin ya yanke mata hukunci bisa sassauci da ta nema zaman gidan yari na tsawon wata guda babu zabin tara mai shari'a nura yusuf ya ce dole ne wato gwajin kokolwa da za a yi wa wato murja wato murja kunya ya kasance a asibitin gwamnati domin tabbatar da lafiyar kokolwar ta alƙali ya bada umurni ne bisa zargin bata da ciki bata cikin hayacin ta a lokacin zaman kotu na farko da aka gurfanar da yar tiktok din hukumar hizba ta jihar Kano ce ta gurfanar da murja Ibrahim Kunya kan zargin ta yadda hankalin jama 
bata tarbiya da kuma ko yadda karuwanci an sake gurfanar da murja kunya dai a karo na biyu bayan da kurar da ta tashi akan kan sakin ta daga gidan yarin da ake tsare da ita sabanin umurnin kai alkali a lokacin zaman farko alkali ya sa tsare murja ne a gidan yarin kurmawa ne bayan ta musun ta zargi zange da hukumar hisba ta gurfanar da ita a kan su Mutumin babban komandan hukumar Hizba ta ji Harkano Mujahid Aminuddin Abubakar ya ce yan kasashen waje na daga cikin matasa 18 da jami'ar hukumar Hizba suka kama kan aikata badala a sassan garin na Kano Dr. Mujahid Aminuddin Abubakar ya ce yan kasar waje sun shiga hannu ne a wurin Sharholiya bikin zagoyar ranar haihuwa ranar haihuwar a wannan yanayi da jama'a suke fama da nyunwa babban abin takaice shine yadda aka wato aka hada maza da mata wadda hakan ya sabawa koyarwar addinin Islama a wani makamancin haka kuma rundunar yan sandan jihar Kano ta mika wa hukumar Hizba wasu mata masu zaman kansu guda 38 da aka kama a kwanar gafan daga cikin mata masu zaman kansu har da masu tsohon ciki da masu wato kananan yara hukumar ta Hizba ta baina cewa aka sarin matan masa wato Aka aka sarin matan masu zaman kansu ne sun fito ne daga jihohin Kaduna katsina kebbi da kuma Sokoto ta ce za ta tantance su da wato lafiyar su sannan a dauki mataki na gaba a kansu A shirye-shirye hukumar Hizba ta ji zamfara kan habaka al'adu da kula da tarbiyan addini ta hana wasu bukukuwan aure kafin wato biki kamar su kauyawa de fulani de kamu da sauran bukukuwa da basu cancanta ba yayin wannan gana da mane malabare shugaban hukumar wato Sheikh Hassan Umar ya nuna matukar damuwa kan yadda aka wato kuso da wasu al'adu cikin bukukuwan aure da basu inganta ba a addini domin tabbatar da bin wannan dokar hukumar ta kaddamar da komitoci guda uku da za su yi aiki da jami'an tsaro da sauran masu ruwa da tsaki domin ganin an aiwatar da dokar kuma an shawo kan wannan al'amari masu kallon mu duka duka iya labaran kenan amma kafin yi ban kwana da ku ga bitan wasu daga cikin muhimman kanun su gwamnatin Najeriya ta sanar da cewar ta kammala dukkanin wani shirye-shirye domin kayyade farashin kayan abinci a kasar nan rundunar sojin saman Najeriya dai ta halaka manyan komandodin kungiyar yan ta'addan ISWAP yayin da dakarun sojin sama suka musu lugudin wuta a jihar Borno Bankin bada alamu ni na IMF ya shawarci babban bankin Najeriya wato CBN da ya kara kudin ruwa domin a sese ta tattalin arzikin kasar nan ka ta gabatar da kudiri gaban kwamitin sulhu na mulsin dinkin duniya wadda ya bukaci a tsagai ta wuta na wucin gadi a Gaza Masu kallon mu duka duka labaran kenan amre da hukumar sashen al'amura na yau da kullum sai kuma Abubakar Muhammad ya tace mana labaran sai kuma mai lura da shirin shugaban sashen Hausa Umar Muhammad Gombe ni Abdul Fatah Hassan da na karanta nake mana fatan mu kwana lafiya assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Allah ya taimake mu